call to order uh, select board meeting for May 1st, 2019. Thank you everybody for coming. First thing we are going to do tonight is uh, the consent agenda. Don't have any minutes to approve tonight. We have uh, a few warrants, API or AP1941, AP1941-2, AP1942-S, AP1942, and AP1943. Uh, we have a one-day liquor license I will have to abstain from, Valley Malt, June 14th, 21st, 29th, and July 5th on the Town Commons. Uh, one-day liquor license I also have to, have to abstain from, uh, Friends of the Goodwin Beer Tasting, May 24th, 2019. The Goodwin Library. Uh, last warrant of fiscal year 2019, July 19th, 2019. A chapter 90 request for various roads throughout town. And Scott McCarthy appointment to DPW as field superintendent. Can I uh, take out the DPW appointment? Sure. And does anybody have a list of the roads that are being done? Um, well, I think it's in personally. your attachment here. I didn't see just it. Just before we move on, can uh, somebody just, can I have a motion? Okay. Just so moved. Thank you. And second for discussion. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Question about the roads throughout town. Chris, do you have that? Looks like page four. Mm -hmm. Chapter 90 page four request. Of the, the chapter 90 request. So it looks like hot mix asphalt on Roosevelt Street, Rocky Hill Road, Miscellaneous repairs, 20% rubber uh, chip seal, Mount Warner Road, and Mount Warner Road. And it looks like there's a map that shows the, on page six. And what was the total amount for the Chapter 90 money that were being, that's being used? Uh, almost 200,000, 198,000. But mm -hmm. um, there should be once the state gets their stuff together, another 150,000, right, Chris? Something along those lines. Because mm -hmm. we'll have the Moody Bridge Road, 80,000 plus some more, but we're just waiting on that to get put together. I'd just like people to know, to know. Yep. what's in the coffers. 198603, thank you. Okay, so uh, we were gonna pull out uh, appointment to DPW as field superintendent. Uh, mm -hmm. All in favor of everything else? Aye. 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 Uh, abstaining from the two. Except for Chapter 90. Thank you. And David, would you like to uh, I'll actually present Scott? turn it over to Chris. Chris, do you want to uh, introduce Scott and tell us a little bit about him and why he's a good fit for the town? Or Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Um, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to introduce uh, a new hire for the first attendant. Scott, okay. Nice meeting you all. Nice meeting you. He's coming to the department with a very wide knowledge of, of public works projects, water, sewer, and uh, road construction. Currently, he works with deep construction. He has worked with East Hampton and also Deerfield on the rest capacities. And so we 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 had privilege, we were privileged to interview a couple of individuals with experiences, including some who were interviewed for my job. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, but uh, we he he kind of have the fit of what we're looking for. It's a very high uh, profile job, and it's also it's not the job of on the on the on, on the job training job. It requires uh, someone who comes in and right away begin to, in my view, um, get himself more relevant to our structure. And um, based on references and also questions, he sounds to be somebody who is ready to go. And um, he's also aware of uh, the six months provision. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, Corey check was done, yes. and this is for a non-union spot, correct? Yes, non-union spot. Okay. We did a Corey check also with the pre-employment uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Um, may I have a motion? Make a motion to approve the uh, 
hiring of Scott McCarthy. Second. All, second. All those in favor? Thank you. All right. Aye. 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 Uh, okay. Welcome aboard, Scott. Congratulations. Thank you. Put a face to around town. You're now on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so we will uh, move on to public comment. Mm -hmm. uh, we were going to revise the public comment rules to limit your comments to three minutes so that other members of the audience will have a chance to speak. Do we need to vote on that? May I have yeah. a motion? Would you? I'll make a motion to uh, limit the public comments to three minutes per person per meeting. Okay. Second. Any further discussion? Yeah, and at any time, anybody can write a letter to this board with, with their comments or questions or complaints. So, I mean, we're just trying to make the meetings as short, as sweet as possible. But we are still open to all the comments, complaints, and and that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we can open up the public comment period. I just have one quick question right now about the roads. Do you know here if uh, Golden Court and Berkeley are having roads? I don't know. We no, could. Other state. Okay. No, we've, I, we've heard conflicts now. My I understanding is that they're not town roads. Holes. I thought they were attempting to fix, and then they, they were there one day. I think it was the town of Hadley, but it was working. working on the holes like they were chipping them away to, and I thought they'd surely be back to film. They never came, and Berkeley is, is dangerous. Well, I will. Totally uh, dangerous. I'll, I'll get with Chris, and we can verify that, and for the next meeting, we'll find that out for you, okay? Do you want contact information so you can get back to uh, Yes, if you would leave that with Jennifer or David. Um, what? Your contact information, unless you just so they can reach you. Unless you just want me to talk about it at the next meeting. Call me already, Golden Court. Okay. I'll get it. You get it. Okay. I'm sure you know that's where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go ahead. But well, I'm not the beast oh. that you all think. <laughs> anyway, I came before the Hadley Select Board um, on March 20th, asking for a Human Rights Commission. And I understand from calling Jennifer at the um, <coughs> town, uh, you know, here in David Nixon's office, that a civility and inclusion group is forming instead of a human rights commission. Well, I looked up the word civility in the dictionary, and it says courtesy, politeness, good manners, gentlemanlike, gracious, state of being a good citizen. And the word originates all the way back to the 1350s. But right now in our country, hate crimes are at an all-time high. Violent attacks against Jews and Muslims have doubled in 2018. And the town of Hadley has an enormous problem with racism and bigotry. So a call for civility, to me, feels like a, an effort to stifle people's, uh, the injustices that, that have taken place and the acts of racism and bigotry and hate that we've experienced living at Golden Court and throughout the town. Um, sometimes I feel that civility is about making sure that the status quo in a town, the people who are in the hierarchy of the town, um, stay the same pretty much. And I looked up the definition of status quo. It's to keep things the way they are now no change, current situation, and an existing state of affairs. The status quo is the reason that Golden Court Housing Board members are elected and re-elected in Hadley Town elections over and over and over, often uncontested, even though we have informed the town administrator, the select board, the newspapers, anyone that will listen that many of our Golden Court Hadley Housing Authority board members are overt racists and bigots and have been physically, verbally, and emotionally abusive to tenants for years. Their reign continues, and this is why I asked two weeks ago for the Hadley Housing Association board members to be removed from office, or at least investigated to be removed. So think again about using this word civility. 
let the people who will be members of this group come up with their own name. And I also was considering the fact that maybe having a board member on this group might be conflict of interest. I'm not sure, but I think that's something that has to be discussed among a group that forms. So I wanted to know a little bit more about this group, who's going to be on it, who decides who's on it, and I did hear that one of the board members is going to be on it. So I'm not saying that I'm against them being on it, but it might be conflict of interest. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. I'll just say real quick that, you know, we, we want to ensure equal rights to all with this formation of this committee. And, you know, it will work to try to provide trainings, look at ways to be more diverse and inclusive, but it can't really be like an investigatory body. So we can't go after certain complaints. So it is meant to be more diverse and inclusive. It is not formed yet. It would have to be approved by this board. A charter would have to become up people would have to meet and come together with some goals. So that's going to be in the future uh, after town meeting, but thank and we, you. we as a board haven't discussed the we, mission and the charter. Yeah, so we, have, we have not. And, yeah. all, and all committees come under the purview of the select board. They do. No matter, yeah. And they are put in place by the select board. Exactly. Can I have one comment? I wonder if we're in the right place. Yeah. That's what I'd like to know. Is, should we be here or should we be somewhere else? Well, can I just make a comment as far as removing the, the housing authority? Yeah, members? this is there, to do with what Sue's talking about. Are we talking to the right people? Um, let me finish. They are elected individuals, so the only way to remove them is by recalling them or, right. or electing okay. somebody else when their term is over. We can't, as a board, remove them from office. Oh, we do that. So yes, right. if you want to go that route, then there's steps you can take to do that. Otherwise, asking for them to be removed isn't, isn't going to well, we're not. I'm not asking to have you remove them. I'm okay. asking you to investigate the removal or, and tell us about the process. Because this isn't the first time the tenants at Golden Court have come. I've lived there for 15 years, and many of us have come telling everybody that I listed on that list, from Department of Housing Authority to people who work at Town Hall, what we've gone through. Two politicians, and nobody wants to listen. And we're we're tired of it. We're we're about you know we want to know what our what we can do to finally get this underway. I'm sure. And I'm not asking for. A, a question can you explain the recall tonight, to them? Not tonight. Not tonight. Not no, tonight. No, yeah. but no, no. But I'm just saying, is that information you can provide? Some answers and not just to go away and come back again and. No, I would say answers, make an appointment right? with David and right. sit down and talk about what the process is and what your options are. Right. Because right. just coming to us, there's not Mr. much we can do. Mr. Nixon. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's okay. we spoke with your secretary, those that are interested in being on this new group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we took your names down and we and, have that uh, um, record. Where does it go from there? It's got to come back to the select board because they haven't talked collectively about what the charter is, how many, what's the composition, what are the deliverable results. None of that has been decided by the select board, so they need to talk about that. Okay. Well, can. Anyone that calls in and is, has an interest, are they going to be included, or is it? We have, we have not discussed it as a board yet, so we have to decide all of that, the process around the formation of the committee. Okay. I mean, you can understand. No, thank you, thank you. We're, yeah, I, I understand. But do you understand why we would be frustrated? I do understand, but your public comment period's over. We have an agenda we okay. have to stick to, now, but thank you, you. Should we be taken to the town meeting instead of coming here is what I want to know. I don't think there's anything town meeting can do. The, the state actually runs that yeah. no, they don't. project. They, yes, do they do not in any of that sort of thing. You're entirely wrong about that. Okay, we're okay, starting yeah, to we're have good. a lot yeah, of discussion. We're good, so thank you very much. Are there, is there anyone else here tonight for public comments? I also live in Golden Court. And did I understand you to say that we have to wait until the next election and vote them out or is there another way to get rid of the board i what i'm saying is i wonder if if you people realize that the way that they speak to us and treat us they use profanity they use racism it's completely unacceptable from anything from any board in any town not just Hadley. and, and it's just I, too, have lived there for 14 years. 
and not much has changed. We got rid of the, the former um, executive director to be replaced by this board with another one that's nasty, rude, doesn't follow the, yeah, the so, um, so I think we're getting into history. personalities and not issues. Yeah. And we have to be we, we have to be careful. I, I would I would say your best path forward is to schedule a meeting with David for a half hour, talk to him what your options are, and see what what's possible. And that's that's the best best we can do right now. And I'm sorry, but that's the best we can do right now. Our representative's going to be here uh, yeah. soon, and you can maybe talk to him and and find out what's going on with, with the director of the housing board. I mean, yeah. they, they, She's referring they, to Dan Carey. Yeah, yeah he has off. We've spoken with him already. Yeah. Okay, okay you have. He has office hours at the Council on Aging once a month. Oh, it's here. I'm sorry. It's no, here in town. It's here and at the Council on Aging. Okay, yeah, I think both. They got yeah. two, two dates, right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. Any other public comments? Just want to know how I can move forward with all the complaints on the traffic speed on Rocky Hill Road. I don't know if this is the time, but. We've called numerous times to Pally Police. Nothing's been done. They sit for 15 <coughs> minutes in the traffic. The new mass is just, I live up on the upper end, and it is 60 plus miles an hour, and it's 30. Mm -hmm. Wrote letters to mm -hmm. select, mm -hmm. complaining, nothing. And I'm getting phone calls from everybody from Rocky Hill Road. How they get mine, I guess I'm going to wind up yelling. <laughs> Slow down. They know me. Yeah. But even I talked to Dennis today. He says going 40, he's getting past them. Double line. Oh yeah. School bus is getting past. Mm -hmm. My neighbor here called me. Just trying to make the turn off of Rocky Hill into the driveway. You're taking your life in your hands because it's a blind corner. There are arborvitaes growing there, and they come down the road. You look, and they just they're, they're doing. I follow the girl doing 65 miles an hour. She got down, and I was speeding. I did it just to see how fast the car would go. And I was driving instructor at that point. And it's ridiculous. I'm sitting in the house and you can hear trailer trucks going through, cement trucks, and there are kids on bicycles there. It's one of these days someone's gonna get killed on that road. Yeah. Um, I, I will speak with the chief on that, and I will get back to you with his answers. Uh -huh. just want to know, I mean, how many letters do I have to write? How many phone I know calls do I have? have? Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. Chief of Police, you can just give them more. They give you every excuse. Don't have enough. Tomorrow's more important. You guys aren't important. They just tell you, we don't, we don't care. I don't believe that that's what Chief Mason has said. I've been said. told every excuse in the book. I will, I will, I will talk with him. Every excuse. But we don't I'm, have enough people. Cook. We don't have enough. I will, I will talk and I said, to them. I go to work for City of Northampton. We don't have that. We have what plenty of speed. What is your it, name? Bob Boytowitz. Okay. I, I will get yeah. back to you. What I'm trying to say is, it, it, it's got to be safe. You know, we got to solve this problem. Speed bump signs. I live on Bay Road. They have the same problem. But they sit so, at 6.30 in the morning when I go to work. I can't get out of my driveway on Bay Road but at, at 6.30 6 in the morning. Why do you have radar stuff at 6.30 every morning? I have the same I look problem. At them, I, I shake my head. Well, why are you at 3.30 when the kids are out of school <laughs> running around? You're, you're stopping a guy going to work at 6.30 in the morning? You know what I mean? Look yeah. at your log. Yeah. Can I ask, I, I ask yeah. if we can schedule a... Um, after town meeting, because that's this week yeah. anyway, can we schedule a session with the chief and ask him to bring in the traffic enforcement officer? Rocky Hills, yeah. bad, Bay Road. We've, I mean, yeah. I've gotten the same complaints places. on West Street, yeah. you know, I mean, all, all over. Are, so, several areas. Yeah. Yeah. If we can schedule that, would be great. Yeah. That would be good, yeah. If he's got grant money or something, I don't know why he can't direct some of that. I, I, I will chat with him. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, okay. after after town meeting, we'll have a meeting. Yeah. I, I, maybe the DPW director can come as well, and yes. we can look at what we can yeah. do for road studies, you know, to then, I don't know what we can do to Affordable change the speed limit, put in speed, speed bumps. Pump I don't lost. know, but we can we can research it at this meeting and talk about right, it. Right. That's okay. the best we can do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? All right, we can move on here to um, 
uh, happen to be, well, let's do uh, Memorial Day Parade. Um, basically, just the Hadley uh, Legion inviting us to participate in this year's annual Memorial Day Parade on Sunday, May 26th at 2 p.m. Uh, there's a host of visits to cemeteries uh, starting at 11.15 a.m. at the Russellville Cemetery. Um, and then the parade starts at 2 p.m., which is from East Street to the West Street Common. There will also be um, all elected officials are invited to participate in the uh, parade. So if everybody would like to participate, going to the cemeteries, we usually meet at 10.30 at the Legion yes, to board the buses to go to the cemeteries. I can't wait for that bus ride this year. I love the bus ride. It's great. John, you Is everybody going to make it this year? or John will be there? Yeah, no, I thought it was the weekend of the race, but it's not. So. Okay. Great. okay. Mm -hmm. I'm planning on being there. Okay, David's going to let us know. Because <laughs> no, Uncle Sam calls. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't know. We don't require any vote there, do we? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. No, but there'll be, there's going to be a, a different set of lineup because uh, uh, Lieutenant Cook has been working with the Legion and Gene Baxter and yes. people to set up uh, a good portion of uh, E Street is where the parade route's going to be. They'll have... Um, on one side of the street so that one side remains open that the others will be on the other side of the street to mm -hmm. uh, move forward so all the floats um, all those things will be on East Street to come around onto Route 9. Yeah so instead of staging at the Senior Center Correct. field this year we'll be staging at East Street. Yep. And they're going to go to the common. To the common. To the common. Mm -hmm. And everyone is invited back afterwards to the Legion to participate in refreshments also. Yes. Okay. Moving on, uh, just the select board liaison system. Uh, the current liaison system is as follows. General Government and Library Building Committee is Molly Keegan. Public Safety and Municipal Building Committee, as well as Fire Substation Building Committee is Joyce. I'm uh, going to miss because I didn't know I was the municipal building. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You've been going. I go to that one right. recently, yeah. So I, I will put that on my agenda to go. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, education and Senior Center Building Committee and oh, Capital Improvement Plan or Committee is myself. Public. not have to go to the municipal one now. That would yeah. be a <laughs> One less thing. <laughs> Public Works. Uh, is uh, David Phil and Human Services and Culture and Recreation is John Waskevitz. I don't know if we want to make any changes. Those are the current ones. I think I was on veterans too. Yeah. Oh. I think you're veterans too. Veterans, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, list for another uh, another year, uh, adding the veterans for John. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second that. And I'll second for discussion only. If does anybody want to change? I'm fine staying the course. Okay. I think yeah, because we have these projects in place yeah, right now that, that we're working on. Yeah. Um, Everybody's involved in it anyways. I think we should, and we're all communicating. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And if you need me to fill in on the municipal building committee, okay. I always can. So. Yeah. <laughs> I just would like to know when they meet. I know it's on Monday Tuesday. nights. Monday well, and Tuesdays. Well, Tuesdays, yeah. Tuesdays. And Tim okay. usually sends the agenda. Yeah. Okay. I think ahead of time, yeah. All right. All right, all those in favor. Aye. 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 Uh, Pioneer Valley, New England mountain bike. You're here. Okay, great. Um, we didn't have a time. So Pioneer Valley, New England mountain bike association is seeking permission from the town of Hadley as a co-holder of the conservation restriction of Hampshire College property to provide basic trail maintenance on Earl's trails. This would include pruning overgrowth, removing down trees, restoring proper outslope to trails to ensure they drain without causing erosion problems minor rerouting trail sections to avoid badly eroded sections, building bridges over sensitive wetlands, and work on remediation efforts for the previously eroded trail conditions, 
as possible. Um, yeah, would you like to say anything about it? Sure. Yeah. I'd just like to know where the, if you could, while we're on camera, tell sure. people where these trails are. Oh yeah, the, the well I can say they're, these trails are, would be across from Hampshire College near the Hadley Reservoir. Mm -hmm. And are they goes within, up the, are they within up. the Hadley Reservoir? So that we would have a problem with, pe as with people parking there because they do get ticketed if they're not Hadley residents. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so but if you are a Hadley resident, you can purchase a, a sticker for that parking area. So I noticed they park at the end of Shamara rather than by the reservoir to play and get on the trails there and go through. For biking? Yeah. Has that been okay up in Chimura? Have you ever had, had any, any complaints. complaints or anything? They look at you funny when you walk out there to go hunting. <laughs> <laughs> you have a moving target? <laughs> <laughs> bikes, yeah. Tough eating. Paul, are you here for that as well? The bike? I, yeah, I just keep it just, uh, just in case any questions came up. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. So you want to There's a black Ford pickup truck with its lights on in the parking lot, if that belongs to any of y'all. Belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be okay for a little Maybe bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, it'll be less good. Might be able to get you a jump start. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm Jonathan Moderer. I've been the president of Pioneer Valley NIMBA um, for the last two or so years. And we've been contacting a lot of the landowners in the area and the land managers just to kind of get a lot of the trails to be on an official status with maintenance. Um, Earl's Trails in particular has multiple landowners. It's, we primarily we work with DCR on a lot of our properties, but um, with Earl's we do have you know two schools, DCR and you guys. Um, so we've been slowly working around trying to get in contact with uh, each owner to discuss maintaining them. Um, Earl's has blown up in the last five years in popularity, um, along with biking. Um, I, I'm not sure what is, blown up but um, we've had a lot of individuals who have created the trails who you know worked at Hampshire who have moved on or who were just part of the initial um, hiking system or dog walking system that are no longer around to maintain it but the usage has steadily increased uh, so what we're looking to do is you know give our use our membership uh, the opportunity to pitch in and help out on these trails um, so we're not looking to build new trails what we're trying to do is get everything that we do have out there, rideable, maintainable, sustainable, and uh, kind of restored, as it's uh, definitely seen its use and is drawing a lot of people to it. And what is DCR now we're going into an agreement with you on, uh, on that property out there? Uh, what's that? We're going into an agreement with, right? DCR with the property in that area. Is that where the area is? Yes. Yeah, so conservation is, restrictions. Is conservation that restrictions. Mm -hmm. yes. we're that would be still with Kestrel. Kestrel. Yeah, yeah okay. Kestrel, yeah. yeah. Some of what the land we're talking about by the reservoir is, uh, um, has the, these trails on it. And um, yeah. that would be, at least in my mind, one of the protected uses of, of that area. So okay. I, I don't think that anybody mm -hmm. has an issue with mountain bikes because I think it's a perfect use for the. Mm -hmm. I think the area. only issue that came up in a. In a I think Paul might have been at the meeting and there was somebody from DCR here. There was a, a big conversation about sign, well, actually it was the whole snowmobile, yeah. but about signage and yeah. the mountain bike trails came up specifically as an area where I think there have been some people who have complained that all these Mike mountain bikers came flying at me and they had mm -hmm. no right to be on this trail. Right. Yeah. And it was actually a mountain bike trail, but that we we're gonna try to see if we could improve the markings so of these trails. 100% love to do that is kind of been our biggest thing just for um, safety issues and navigating right. the trails you know people going out and you know if somebody gets hurt uh, because you, know, you guys go out and ride with your with those bikes in the winter time you've got snow yep. bikes you know I know that because one of my docs has them <laughs> <laughs> they're fun yeah, yeah and um, kill them, so. we would love to sign the trails uh, sign the trails does require Mm -hmm. um, a lot of work with the landowners and you know all of them agreeing that you know we right. want people to be told hey this trail ends up on our property um, which DCR had offered to coordinate that so I'm assuming mm -hmm. that yeah, we've been working with DCR. You have, okay. so this this actually all stemmed from a project with DCR mm -hmm. um, on one of the pieces of the property right next to Amherst College at Earl's Trails and um, me and Paul Jay had discussed this um, section and he said hey you know what you should really do with this is let's get all the other landowners or managers on board for this mm -hmm. and then we can really do this right um, so we did discuss you know signing and then rerouting stuff that needs to be rerouted rebuilding it and uh, getting established but we um, we've been discussing with Hampshire College 
um, trying to put a kiosk at uh, Shamur Road, actually. They have a little piece of property that runs up to the end of that mm -hmm. road, so we'd be on their property. And we ideally like to put up a trail map, um, trail etiquette, which includes, you know, how to handle, oh, there's, you know, horses out there, there's hikers, just how to handle all the different user types, when to ride the trails, you know, if it's too wet, don't ride them, stuff like that. And uh, that's kind of like a long-term project, but that is definitely something we'd like to do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, we'd be totally okay with that. So can I okay. make a motion to grant uh, Pioneer Valley NEMBA permission to um, maintain and improve the existing trails and add signage as they are, trail markings, I should say, as they see fit, um, but just with the understanding that if any trails are added, uh, new trails are added, you would come back to the, to the board. Sure, certainly. And if, you know, if there's ever anything that does pop up out there that you have a question about, mm -hmm. um, feel free to contact me. And I, I did include, um, in this piece of paper just handed you there's a, a map. Yep, there's a map and there's kind of a contract form that we normally do. It's, I don't know which, it's, we have different things for different landowners, so that's up to y'all. If it's, if this is verbal works, that's fine. And we can also discuss it. But uh, my contact info is on there, so if you ever do have any problems with mountain bikers or people complaining for any reason, certainly give me a ring or you got a email. picture of yeah. a bridge here. Um, is that an old snowmobile bridge? And how are you going to affect the snowmobile trail? Uh, which bridge? It was uh, a bridge provided to us by conservation from Janice Stone. One of the oh, places. oh, so you got the uh, conservation. So that one will not be on a snowmobile trail. So that is on a... Uh, a single track trail that runs at the bottom on Hampshire College. So that, uh, so the current crossing that we're, we're um, looking to fix is a dip down that is not sledable. Uh, it, it'd be fun to get stuck in, but it wouldn't be mm -hmm. sledable. Um, and this particular bridge, not, it won't be uh, wide enough for a snow. Uh, it'll be a 32 inch bridge right there. Uh, it'll widen up to 42. I don't think that's wide enough for a sled track. But uh, this. This particular section won't affect any uh, trail sled mass or otherwise. I'll second the motion. Paul had a question back there. Uh, I just uh, was just going to respond to John's comments. That's that's on the Hampshire College property. I don't think they have a snowmobile trail on that property. Up on the old speed toll? Uh, but well below that. It's, it's down oh, yeah, it's at the, the field bottom. down there. So it's down on a field side. Yeah. The water main goes through. It's, uh, I don't know about the water main, but it's, it's kind of right, not far behind the little pond there for their facilities buildings, and it's just right back there, so it's pretty well, pretty sure it's not slow. Right, right, right along Bay Road in the back. Mm -hmm. No, it goes straight up the Shore Road down towards Bay Road. There used to be an old hay field there, and the water main crosses over the Bay Road through there also, so mm -hmm. we've got another easement down through there, you know. That, mm. that that trail is that, that current bridge in there is like a it's like a pallet bridge. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. Yeah. it's, it's been hard. replaced uh, right right seven times in the last four years. years. So yeah. we had to put something a little, a little sturdier in there. The, the other mm. thing I wanted to say is that this is a, you know pretty aware of, of New England Mountain Biking Association. It's a very professional group, and you know wherever they work, they the the experts on trail maintenance, especially for mountain bike trails. Um, and it's, I think it's a, a, a great thing that they're willing to offer their volunteer expertise and, and volunteer time to, to maintain trails for you. <coughs> Sounds good. Yeah, uh, my only other comment would be just make run everything by uh, Conservation Commission just to make sure they're good yeah, with I, all that. We, yeah, me and Janice worked with this for the last few months and we have, we've done lots of property walks and discussions. And okay. Super excited, easy to talk to, so we'll definitely be in contact with Janice on anything that's uh, relevant or even maybe relevant. Okay. So. Yeah. Sounds good. All, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Okay. Thank you. Good to go. Be safe out there. Happy trails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't sing it, though. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Jennifer, the Hadley Mothers Club proclamation, we're going to wait for that for tomorrow, or do we want to state that tonight? Y'all can read it tonight if you'd like, but the, they're, gonna, they're expecting it to be presented to them to tomorrow. So it's okay. Yeah. I'll just say right now the select board congratulates the Hadley Mothers Club on 75 years of service to the town of Hadley. We'll have a better, more detailed proclamation tomorrow night. So, Okay. Uh, sewer and water rates. Stroke for it. I don't know if you'd like to uh, Can take I just the stage. make a comment on this too? Um, all in well that we're discussing the water rates, but we really haven't posted this as a public meeting yet. 
That's what we're trying to do tonight is find out your appetite, whether it's supposed okay. to, whether we're going to post a meeting. I thought that you weren't going to try and have us vote on this tonight. We're going to uh, vote on doing a public meeting, correct? That's if correct. If we're going in that direction. If you're going to go okay. that direction. Okay. We need we need your leadership on that one. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> I just wanted to be yeah. sure. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Mr. Okafor. Yeah. Is it, Mr. Chairman, what we, the issue of sewer rates and water rates, um, we had a study done a few years ago, and the town had uh, done approved the study. And we also applied that study uh, the first year. Uh, we so far we have not been able to continue, and uh, we brought this matter before the board a few months ago. And uh, because of events at that time, the board uh, decided to. I won't call it table it with this that we better will come back to the board at this time. Um, we are not asking that the board should take a vote, but we are asking that if the board can allow us to take our suggestions and the board can also take a vote to set up a public hearing concerning the rates. If you look at a couple of charts we submitted to the board, if for some reason we decide the board decided we should do nothing, um, at the end of these fiscal years, the sewer is already, everything is already declining in terms of uh, the capital and the funds. And uh, we, the sewer will be in red. And currently we have, as a utility, we have a lot of work we have to do, capital projects. And uh, we don't have the fund. Um, we just even simple maintenance of the sewer mains and all the sewer pipes, who that requires a couple of major funding. Um, we also have the plant, which uh, at any time events can happen because of the intake. We don't control what comes in. And at the time we get to know, especially at uh, various pubs, we also have issues. And any time issues come up, it's usually a, it's, it take, it, everything is emergency when it comes to utility. And so at that time, we don't want to run to the board, and it's sometimes usually too expensive at that time. So we want the board to take a look at um, the, if we can continue with this 15%, which was recommended by outside experts who did the study, or the board can also tell us what to do. But we understand that, yes, the board has to set up a meeting or a public hearing for this rate. An issue of sewer, we also have uh, requesting the board to also take a look at our septic fees. Um, I brought the I brought the, the chief sewer operator to <coughs> just in case uh, of history, he may be able to add more to that. Well, currently, Mr. Chairman, our sewer um, septic is is been over ten years. It has not been raised. It hasn't been raised in twelve, 12, 12 yeah. years. So, and uh, we compared to surrounding towns. So when you're talking about sewer and septic, yes. are you talking about people putting in new septic systems? No, or septage? Septage. The, the septage, but when septage. Pumped, yes. oh, okay, so okay. when it's pumped, and um, usually it is bring to, brought yes. to our... Right, this is from people's homes who are not on the sewer system. Right. Mm -hmm. they, they do their maintenance every three years, roughly, pump yeah, the tank out, three years, and yeah. they bring it to us. Okay, and so that. you're saying that, like, Kinesny or Weinzig will pump somebody's septic system, and then they will bring it to you? Yes. Correct. Okay. And that's for Hadley residents only, because yes. we stop taking from outside residents. Okay. Right. And so the, we are also <laughs> requesting that the board should take a look at uh, increasing the fees per gallon. So what is the fee? Uh, I know what a homeowner gets, because I have mine pumped. Um, so what do you charge? Do you want me to help you? Sure. Yeah. Right, right now, if the average homeowner gets his tank pumped out, it's normally about a 1,500-gallon tank, and they um, pay to us $185 for a 1,500-gallon tank. Mm -hmm. And that's roughly between average about, about 13 cents a gallon. We'd like to go up to about 18 cents a gallon, and it would make the, it'd be like an $85 difference to just to, to get, get a pump, just to get a little bit more. And our disposal costs have gone up too because our sludge is now trucked to Lowell. Mm -hmm. Before it went to Montague, it was closer and it was much less money. Mm -hmm. But now going to Lowell, we're paying 
we're probably paying 10 cents ourselves to get moved, to, to move what we, we have. And, you know, it's set that generates more sludge. Mm -hmm. so, so our window of making money has gone down too. So we haven't raised the septage rates in 12 years? And I believe it's about 12 years. And then how about this? Didn't we just raise the sewer and water rates uh, mm -hmm. a year ago? We did. We yeah. Five? Five? Five seven. for one and uh, 15 for the other, wasn't yeah, five it? Five and 15. Five for the water, right? Yes. Yeah. Five for water and 15 yeah. for sewer. Can I ask um, a topic for discussion <laughs> came up at the last meeting when we were talking about sewer. And and this is a um, this would be a major structural change really um, right now only the sewer users pay for the sewer system um, and we had a conversation about you know economies of scale unless we're expanding the sewer system which would come at a huge cost if we did so but unless you have more uh, businesses and individuals to spread this cost over you have a relatively small number of people and businesses in town who are bearing the brunt of this so one of the talking points that folks came up with um, who aren't happy about these increases is given the fact that route 9 provides benefit to all of the residents of Hadley by effectively keeping everybody else's property taxes down because of the commercial strip could an argument should an argument be made that we look at handling the sewer costs differently um, I'm not advocating one way or the other I'm just asking Chris if you have had any conversation about that with anybody or have even thought about it should we be thinking about it oh uh, yes I the board can the board as uh, the com sewer commissioners can propose that uh, in part, and I, I think it's in part because the economic uh, effect of Route 9 covers everyone who has both sewer, sewer or set, uh, septage. Also, the other, the other area that the board might look at, as you said, is going to be expensive, uh, especially at issues up front, is if the board can also encourage sept, uh, septic owners, especially when it's failing, to tie in if they are in a street where we have sewer men. And also, also, if we want to encourage, um, but that would require big borrowing, whereby we can expand the sewer and encourage homeowners to tie in with a, uh, a betterment program. Now, with a five, 10 year period, uh, the, the volume will be more than just only room now. That's, so that uh, many municipalities, this is the process they're using the abatement pro um, program, so that uh, homeowners will be or um, businesses will be inclined to time. So just for discussion purposes, uh, I think that expanding the number of users on existing streets where people aren't tied in is relatively cheap compared to tying in new streets. Yes. So I think there's a possibility of giving them some sort of incentive to, to tie into the system and become a customer. Um, also, the, the, the Route 9 issue, if there was a way to break out, the, I guess, the capital costs of sewer along Route 9, mm -hmm. or the infrastructure costs from the rest of the system, I'd be okay with that. What I wouldn't be okay with it would be funding the entire system through taxation, <coughs> because unless you're going to come and maintain my septic system for me, I don't feel that's a very fair, fair deal. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're getting also, a benefit out of the well, that's why I said tax, lower can, taxes as a resident. Right, but if we can break out commercial Route 9. Area. Right, if we can break out Route 9, but I don't, there's no So it would be that. almost like the same thing, a split sewer rate for businesses and homeowners compared to we don't have a split tax rate for our regular taxes. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we're talking about a split no, tax rate. No, no, no. no. Are you looking at split sewer rates? No. 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 I thought that's where you were going. No. It would be where it's the funding It's a question source. of whether or not the what, what infrastructure goes over to taxation right. so that everybody, yes. because the theory, I, so David's making, and this is the argument, so David's making one practical argument that it's all, so I have a septic system, right, and I have to pay, and you do too, you mm -hmm. have to pay the cost of maintaining it. If a leach field fails in pumping it year over year, 
so one argument from septic users would be that hey we already are paying you know what we need to pay to take care of our business the taxation argument says well your property taxes would probably be a lot higher yeah. if it weren't for the existence of route 9 and since route 9 yeah. is the major user of the sewer infrastructure that was a statement right. I mean originally so, so those are the two arguments again not advocating just yeah. explaining mm -hmm. I mean when it was built in 64 you know everything was great up until now when we have infrastructure failures you know just like on the water side mm -hmm. and when when we have that capital improvement which I consider capital improvement whether yes. it be on the water or on a sewer mm -hmm. it should come out of taxation it, you know the, the main lines of the water and the wastewater handle all the pump stations throughout the whole town wherever the service goes right now and it, it is affecting everybody in the town you so know on the tax rate side of it Chris can we break out as far as data goes um, how much water usage goes to those customers on route 9 and how much you know associated sewer billing goes to those customers versus the rest of the town uh, it, it's got to be total be we, to, we, yeah. we're it, down a quarterly it, billing now in the book, the book permits me, I could, I could <laughs> put together a study from with our consultant to, to the, and present to the board so that the board can take it. Do you want to do that before we do a public hearing? Uh, yeah, you're going to need that information. Need that yes, information that, first. Yeah. Okay. Well, would, that would be presented at the public hearing? That no, information uh, is that good enough for you guys? Yeah, yeah. How much time do you Sorry, the, the, the sooner that we can get to a public hearing, the better. But right. you've, yes. you've, you've got a six-month delay in between reading and mm -hmm. the issuance of the bill. Yeah, we just uh, got our water so, bills now. So if you look at the long-term trend analysis for water and sewer, which are in your board docs, you'll see that water is in relatively good shape with respect to operations. But if you go to slide six, of that uh, long trend, uh, long range trend analysis, you'll see that you're you're underpowered in debt. You should have at least for twenty percent of your revenue in water going to debt service, and you're at m more like eleven percent, ten percent, which <laughs> means that we're building up an obligation that we're going to have to pay in the future because uh, we're not maintaining the system at the at the level that we need. That's mm -hmm. for water, so. That's the reason why it's important to look at the water rates, even though operationally it looks good. Now we have to be thinking about how do we position ourselves for uh, the future. And we should also have a plan for the capital component of it. And this I don't think it's going to be an easy conversation. Yeah. So it seems like the sooner we get that conversation. So I agree with you. I mean, I think we need to have the hearing, but I also would like to have Chris pursue that. Okay. Study on the capital side sooner so, rather than later. So just just to, just to fill out the picture, if you look at the long term, long range trend analysis for sewer, every single indicator that are that is in there shows that you've got an enterprise fund which is in trouble. Right. Um, and we need to do some sort of action, at least on sewer, just for operational, let alone the ca future capital costs that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This has been a trickle-down effect for the last 15 or 20 years anyway. We went ahead and metered the town. Then we went ahead and did water conservation. So that, everybody that was paying flat rate at one time was probably paying double what they're paying right now with the meters. So over the period of time, it's gradually gone down. The usage. The usage. The usage. At one point in time, and I a can remember stays probably, the same. what was it, but just 40 years ago, we, there was supposed to be a plan in action about sewering the whole town, right? Yeah. Well, this, and this that kind of went by the wayside. Now, Hatfield has sewered most of their town, even on outlying roads as depot and areas of that nature. Now, I believe they did get a grant for that, correct? I'm not quite sure. I, I know in Hadley, we, sh we should move into like Meadowbrook area where, where all the there, streets are. Where there's, where there's a house. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. you lay very little pipe, but you gain all these users right. in a very short distance. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the place to go. And if you're going to do construction like that, 
you put new construction like on a tax rate, and the maintenance kind of, mm -hmm. you know, if it's build it on the tax rate, but then afterwards we, we maintain it on the sewer users, mm -hmm. because you can't put all that new, that new cost into so few users to put it. So here's the question, if we do move forward to putting in all these other people onto the sewer line, will our pumping station be able to uh, maintain it all of that. Yes, yes that's it will. one that's got plenty of capacity. The pumping, I'm talking about what's the pumping, down here. The, 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 the pumping will be able to handle, can handle it, but the plant we, we should be, We should be able to handle everything that's there right now. Mm -hmm. Everything where? As far and as that, like, say you see you did like Woodlawn and in front of like... With the existing plant, with the trouble we're having now? You don't, you don't gain that much water from houses. That's and not everybody uses it at the same moment. Maybe well, and wouldn't that be part of, if, if you moved forward with the study, wouldn't yes. those questions be answered, right? Dennis, you'd have a chance to participate in that. And but, but that would be about. an area to really move into, where it's, where it's, it's house one after the other. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Okay, so can I have a motion regarding the hearing? I make a motion that we schedule a hearing on water and sewer rates to be held later in May. I don't know how many days notice we need. Yeah, how many? Uh, either May 8th or May 15th. But doesn't he need the study though first before we You need the study. Well, no, first. I think I think what David was saying is I think we, we kind of can't at delay rates. on the other one because by right. the time the study so gets done, yes. so that would be the second motion would be to authorize him to do the study. We don't have three meetings in May. You've got the May 8th and May 15th. So we have one tonight and then again next week and again the one after that, three weeks in a row. Well, it's up to you, no, the pleasure of the I board. I think we had three meetings month of May. So I would think it would be the third we the Wednesday of the month that we would have it. But the 15th. 15th. Well, let's get, how about the 15th, we say right now? Fine with me. Oh, I'm making a motion. Uh, I'll make a motion that we schedule, <laughs> <laughs> schedule the public hearing uh, on water and sewer rates for May 15th. Second. Any further discussion on the hearing? All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then we are also discussing a study. Yeah, you already authorized me to do a study. Do we, do we want, a, want a motion on that study? Make a motion that we authorize um, Chris to move forward with a How old are study? these numbers from time bond? Yeah, two, two years ago. Two years ago? Yes, yeah, 2017. They have, they have good numbers. I'll Remember they came in with their presentation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll second for discussion, but um, how, how much is the study going to cost? I don't have Just any number. Any, any idea? Any of fair, depending on, on the depth of the study, we're talking about anywhere from seven to $10,000. Because we're also we looking at our uh, plans. The current, uh, what do we want the goal of this study to be? Well, if for the board, if the board has to make a decision, in terms of as we were discussing, uh, especially with the with the with nine core. Um, well, I, I'd like to know yeah. what it would be if we included okay. the areas up off of uh, Meadowbrook, Meadowbrook in mm -hmm. that area, and any other uh, areas Rocky you may Hill. identify. Yeah, like a return on investment. Numbers Huntington for, Road, all yeah. the Huntington, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. which coincides with Mount Warner, also right, right. on that area, and, and mm -hmm. then also look at what it would. You know, if we ran two, yeah, two different cost structures, cost one with it all on sewer and one with it on taxation for the just the infrastructure improvement. And Chris, if you could break out the data for Route 9 customers as far as water and sewer usage versus uh, residential customers in the rest of the town. And do we want to see if there's any grants out there? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Always that. Um, so, so the motion is to pursue this study Mm -hmm. with the goal of sewer expansion and looking at the Route 9 usage versus the rest study, of town? Just a study, John. Yeah. Just the study? study. So long-term. And anything else? Of the and various funding scenarios. Okay. Does that make sense, Chris? Yes. Okay. Just look at it. That's all we can do. Yeah. With and a see what the capacity of our present 
treatment I, center. You know, there was a lot do. of other options that I've been bringing up throughout this whole process. You know, Amherst really is a regional plant, and on a state on the state level, if they were to do something with the Amherst treatment plant, uh, it's not that far for our industrial area, our station two, which we had taxed once before, to tie that into Amherst, mm -hmm. and then we'd Down have plenty of capacity. Yeah, then we'd have plenty of capacity. No. Uh, Mill Valley Road. Mill Valley. Because if you went straight down Mill Valley Road, you'd be able to tie into the Amherst line. You'd be able to pump to them. And, you know, it's per gallon. And then you would be underneath their restrictions, you know, whatever they charge a gallon, mm. to treat the waste. But that would free up a lot of space in our treatment plant. And as we talk every week about regionalization, I think this is a good area to look at. Do we have any money in the at. budget for this study right now in, in the year 20? Well, they would take it out of water and sewer reserves, wouldn't they? I'm just going to come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> so make the enterprise fund even more broke? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Well, so, sure, take it out of zero dollars. Zero to sense. zero. Yeah. Uh, but maybe we might make some money. Who knows? You so know? uh, can't I make think money without money. I think Chris and I are going to get in touch with Ty and Bond, and we'll yes. come, come get back with some sort of quote. Oh. Yeah, that'd be and great. And if we can afford it uh, within the budget, we'll just go in it. If there's not, any funding out there. Yeah, I mean, funding. grant money's going to take years, too, now. So, so do we want to have our motion be for getting a quote on this study so then we can vote on whether to do the study based on the cost and the funding source? Or yeah. uh, yeah. How about that the, delays things even more. How about the motion um, to, is to approve it if we can afford it in our current budget? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I'll let you amend your <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm amended, but he said, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. 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 All those in favor? Aye. 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 I got one question. Um, you, you're going to want to know how much water those businesses are using? Is on Route Nine? Is that what your goal is? Well, I think of revenue. Mostly sewer is the the goal, but I guess if you can pr present the water, because they read the water meters obvious. on all the businesses, it seems like we could make up a list of right and look it up and say, well, these businesses use X amount of gallons. They got so much sewage. It yeah. seems like we, we might. Have the information in the house. Already. I would think. Yeah. I would think you would. At least yeah. for that. I would point. think you guys should put that together. Worked into the, the accounting part of it that Sue's got for the water and sewer bill, she should be able to tally that up pretty easily right on a computer. I would imagine. Well, Talk to okay. Some time by and we'll go from there. And see what Sue can come up with We voted to do to do the study. Well, I amended the motion. We voted after you amended budget. it. Okay. Yeah. Within the budget. Yeah. But okay. but we did we kind of digressed on the discussion of can we get the Route Nine numbers based on our you know bills okay. and that and invoices. Mm -hmm. So maybe that would be something even for next week if it's possible or for the fifteenth. Okay. Um, sewer impact fee discussion. Select board are asked to discuss the appeal of a sewer impact fee cha charge estimate. Complaint has not filled out a sewer connection application. Fees collected under the sewer impact fee program are to be used to improve the functions of the sewer treatment plant and associated systems and equipment. Sewer impact fees were created by Act of Special Legislation, Chapter 9 of the Acts of 2008. So, I, Chris and I had a conversation about this, but I'll just say, just based on what we just heard in the last conversation about yeah. how broke the sewer funds are, um, I'm not for eliminating or reducing the fees. Um, I'll let you speak to what the other surrounding towns have, but if, I mean, we could work with businesses, but as far as reducing or eliminating them, I, I think that's going to put us in a worse situation. So Yes. And that, that's that was why that law was to, to, to be able to assist uh, uh, leaders to be able to resist the reduction because that's one of the major routes where utilities tend to raise capital revenues. Now, a, a, a customer may come before the board to ask for um, either either there's hardship or there are all uh, there are bigger investments and and they wait for this board to um, give abatement or betterment because of X amount of investment that will be done on the, 
the long run, or even if it's a small business who is having hardship. But in the case of this individual that came before the board, um, our view is that the, the board at this point does not have anything to go by to entertain such individual. The individual came in as many, most people do come in to ask for general information. And uh, we gave information based on the information we were supplied. For example, we were supplied, uh, we told that um, this individual will be having anywhere to 25 machines. And so, based on the calculation for the impact, we gave a number. Now, the individual has not come to begin the process of either filling the forms, paying what, some plans, payments, or establishing some credit so that it can come before the board. So that was why we think that um, there was there's nothing for the board to work as opposed to somebody who feels, why should I pay? Now, he, this individual doesn't have to establish 25 machines. It can be 10, it can be five, based on their capital, or and then at least something to start and then as they continue our view is that then if they have run into a situation where they may not be able to meet all the payments of the impact they can come before the board for leniency or for some arrangements mm -hmm. as opposed to at this point where they are we don't have a record official record in our system and the the fee is calculated based on the title five uh, calculation. So right. if you had a septic system, you would have to design the septic system this yes. big for this many gallons yes. per day or whatever sure. to so accommodate that. that so use. it should, should be based on, uh, well, we're, we're talking about, we might as well be out front here, we're talking about a laundromat. Yes. So we're talking about uh, a machine that might not use the amount of water as they used to. So would it be of the use of how much per large load uh, of water? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. If, 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 if at this point we can, uh, it becomes an assumption and we, we don't want to bring to the board an assumption. So this individual comes in based on the calculations. He gets X amount to pay. Now he pays the X amount. He's given access to the water, now the system goes through, and then even if he can't afford to pay all the amount, then we can we can come to the board, and then they can now lay down to the board their hardship or the reason why they cannot afford, or some mechanism for the board to use to make a decision. The board may decide it's okay. Is there any way to do an abatement on uh, an original infrastructure fee that you have already charged? Anybody know we've that? Set, we've set a precedent and we've set payment uh, options payment up for the small businesses mm -hmm. because of the impact fees that we have in the Title V regulations. Mm -hmm. And after we had calculated the estimated number of machines, even at the low rate, the Title V uh, regulations are actually uh, lower than the calculations we come out at the lowest flow of those new machines. Okay. So That's good to know. Yeah. And then my, my fear with this is I don't want to necessarily have exorbitant sewer impact fees where that scares businesses away that could no, be supporting the sewer system. I know. And so we're uh, like scaring people and away. We have, like I said, we have set up payment schedules for mm -hmm. small businesses, you know, to keep them here, you know. Mm -hmm quarterly or yes. over a five-year period even if you want to do that you know in this situation Chris and I were talking that we're kind of looking at a moving target here because since there's been no application no filed, there's nothing on paper we're kind of negotiating with nothing, nothing. Here. yeah so you know we're asking for well the fees too high well what fee we haven't decided on a fee yet you know we okay. just throwing out numbers here mm -hmm. and so uh, the possibility. Yeah, we, we've, we've set the precedent of working with people, and I don't have a problem with working with people with no. payment plans, uh, especially you know, to attract businesses. But yeah. uh, as far as eliminating the fee, I mean, we can't afford it. Yeah, we're talking about raising sewer rates, and on the other hand, we're going to give someone else a break yeah. on their sewer rates. Yeah. So. I concur with the DPW director's Can assessment. I speak to this, please? Sure. That's why we're here. Yeah. 
Um, so myself and my husband, Richard Pratt, um, I'm Sarah Pratt, we're the ones that are looking to open up the laundromat. Mm -hmm. um, we were not made aware that we had to do any kind of application. We've been speaking with people. Um, although we haven't even been contacted by anybody here with the proposed numbers whatsoever. We've heard through the grapevine what it possibly could be, um, but we've not been contacted. So therefore, we haven't been able to even move forward. Um, looking at the Title V, I do see that um, non-residential facilities um, with significantly different design flows than those listed above can ask for an appeal. I'm not looking to not pay anything. I just want it to be fair and equitable. The, the main thing is the figure we were shot at was 142000 We came back and I presented the board a few weeks ago. This is what we use. We're trying to make it so we can sustain a business in the town. We can pay the water and sewer. The machines do not use the water, which came up with the calculations. The sewer is actually a lot better because the troughs and the filterization mm -hmm. systems they use gives very little. So it's more or less. It's not septage. It's gray water. It's gray water. Oh, yeah. Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. I do appreciate what the gentleman is saying, but again, it goes back to what I was saying. If the, the gentleman coming to the board is not the first step. It's not the what? first step. The first step. The first step, first step is for them to come in and fill the application with the PW. We we'll go through the process. Then uh, whatever appeal or, or whatever the um, discussions they have in terms of uh, technology has improved on these machines. And then that can be compared to what we have on the ground our um, the fees we charge, and then the board can now decide either to give a betterment because of the technology or to make an arrangement to pay the space. But right now, they are coming to the board, um, they have not signed up with DPW to do the application. But so my, my we, view we were asked We were asked by my, Mr. the Pixie. town administrator to come to the select meeting tonight. Okay. Um, with this discussion. Okay. So my view okay. would be uh, that um, the board, uh, in, my, in my view, DPW doesn't have a good information to present to the board. I have some, so, I have some so cold hard they, numbers. Yeah, can, can, can we just stop this and can you meet with him and can yeah. you guys work it out and then come to us? Just because this is a little bit, I mean, trying to present it now in front of us, we're not going to sort it out right now, but I think if you do meet with him I guess we were coming here and to, work it to out. look for some discussion on it. Yeah, yeah. I and, think and if you start the process. Yeah. And we weren't told we want, we want to we work were, with you. Yeah. We were never told yeah, we that there was that. a process. Well, then yes. Let's, let's start okay. the process. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. we apologize. You go to the DPW yeah. and mm -hmm. fill out the application and let them know what the machines are, so on and so forth, and fill out what you need to do, and then they can go from get, there with get, you and give you a price, and then there could be an appeal process. Yes. Once we 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 already we, we discussed with time, I'm sure what we did. So the process then then at least the board will have some information uh, to who, who yeah. do they go to, make to it. Sharon? No, they go to Mike Pequinot, I believe, for sewer. Yes. Mike give them information as we give to people who come into well, fire. We, we want them to fill out an application. Sure. Mm -hmm. And whatever And we have do. no problem doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah. We were not told that we were told to come to the meeting right. to speak to so you. So let's, let's do the process like yeah. due diligence yeah. and start that way. And I apologize for the confusion, well, but it I seems just, like that's yeah. the best step to move that, forward. That when she was the chairman a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> she had called me and uh, Bob, the property manager, I got into contact with and he said there was a high and low number. So we just had rough numbers that we were looking at, that's all. Mm -hmm. So as long as you get some accurate figures and get it to the water and sewer, and then then you can come back to this meeting we do, again. We own, yeah, we own a laundromat <laughs> already, and I have I have water bills from last year that show okay. what our usage was. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's great. Yeah. On fewer machines. Just just to be clear, we would love your business to come yeah. to Hadley. We yes. just need to make sure that whatever we do makes sense and is fair and equitable. And I think that especially this board here is more than willing to work yeah. with you on that. And that's all yeah. I'm asking is that, that it's fair and equitable. Yeah. Yeah. And we yeah. have no problem paying the fee. Yeah. Right. 
Um, yeah. mm -hmm. And like we said, we don't always have people pay up front. Sometimes it's yeah. paid mm -hmm. over a number of years. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I, I think the main thing is is the process. I think the process has to be spelled out. Yeah. Because you know we've had conversations you and I, Mr. Nixon, and and I said we all set for tonight. I think the main thing is if, if this is Jessica. Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer, I'm sorry. Hi. So <laughs> we get the information, who we're going to contact. I will, I'm going to pull his number up and give it to you right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So we know where to start from, yep. and when we come back to the board or to... Mm -hmm. After you get Chris your here. numbers and... Yeah. Right. I mean, we just want... It is. Yeah. It's fair yeah. for the town. Everybody can move forward, and mm -hmm. it's... And you can move forward. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Right. Yeah. We oh, want oh, you oh, here, oh, so let's let's exactly. figure it out. <laughs> well, let's keep your business happy. Yeah. yeah. Because okay. that, uh, we as DPW, we don't have good information to present to the board. It makes us look as if we're inadequate or we're not prepared. Yeah, and right. I don't want to well, put anybody. Like yeah. We came here to talk to the board, and yeah. then you're coming up. It looks like a miscommunication. You know, I've been in, yeah. believe me, I've sat on these boards for 32 mm -hmm. years, and I still do. Communication is the worst thing for a public official not to have because <laughs> right. you, you can't give the right answers. Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I apologize for any inconvenience. It's just yeah. that uh, I need to give the board something mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I can. So we'll start yeah. the right process. All right. So, so we'll see yeah. you outside. And It'll be great. Thank, thank you very much, and thank you for coming tonight. So, Chris, before we leave this topic, though, yeah, two years ago we sat down um, with the building inspector, and and we talked we talked about this process issue. Um, and so, Chris, if maybe you could politely ask at some point um, if you, you know, I'm only saying you because Marlo was the one who did it last time, but. We do need to do a better job as a town helping people go through so that they know exactly who they're supposed to meet with and when. Yes, it's on my it's on my list to to do things to do after the town meeting. Perfect. To, to okay. talk to the town yeah. administrator. But I think I think yeah. a lot of it resides with yes. Tim's office as well. Yeah. So we would love to have he tries collectively to get all the permits to yes. the people that are exactly the so they're not the so frustrated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even if it's a sheet of paper, you can handle. Oh, you just touch on the sewer here. It's a checklist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, the planning board is also part of that process yep. too. Okay. Okay. Thank, okay. thank you. you. Yeah, thank you, Molly, for yeah. bringing that up. Okay, uh, we're ready to move on. <laughs> Scott's getting the full experience. Tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what on earth did I just sign up for? <laughs> All right. So well, he didn't run out yet. So I guess he's still coming yeah, Monday. Still interested. <laughs> Uh, senior Center, Library, and Fire Substation updates. Uh, we can start, Jane, you're here. Do you want to start with the okay, Senior Center? The, um, senior Center Building Committee would like to present to the Select Board a change order to change our asphalt roof to a standing seam metal roof. The cost would be an additional $256,841.45 to the contract. Because of the low bid and the reduced size of our building, that still leaves us with a contingency fund of $895,000, which is 19% of the budget, which is huge, way above where we were. And the building committee feels very strongly this was our original design, and then because of the bylaw existing, we couldn't do it. The bylaw was changed at town meeting in the fall, so now we can do it and we have the money to do it and we would like to have a building that would have the correct roof on it. My, my only question is, was it, a, was it an add-on? Do you have to go back to the planning board? We will have to go back to the planning board. Okay. Yeah. And it is the metal roof that we've been quoted is the same metal roof that's on this building, on the Hooker School, if that matters. Uh, I believe it's on, is it on the library too? <laughs> Is it on the library? I don't, it's the yeah. same metal roof that's on all the buildings in Safety town. Safety complex. Safety yeah. complex. That's the other and it's one. Only a, so. It's a 20-year paint only. Still fire safety. It's not warrantied against leaks. Why is that written in? Yeah. Hmm? That, I, was uh, I don't understand that. Oh, boy. So Where are you saying that? It's on the... Um, page 3, bottom of page the, 3. Um, Third page on inspection. Item 7. Not a weather type warranty. Uh, yeah, can I just make the comment that a metal roof would be fantastic, but th this, what's being offered from this manufacturer, is a junk warranty. And I don't mean that to, you know, but comparative to what's out there, they're, they're offering 30, 40 year paint warranties and weather tight warranties on, on metal, uh, you know, Morton buildings and things like that. 
So I, I feel like there's possibly some better options. I don't know if it would cost any more, but it, it would you know, put the town in a better position. How did the, um, the OPM feel OPM about this? OPM is all for this, and he says that it's the same roof that's existing on the current town building. So right, but I think David's point's about the warranty. Yeah. I don't, yeah. he didn't talk about that. I mean, I don't would like to know what it is on the other um, buildings because this is the same roof, the same installer, right, it's everything. The same it's, it's the same. Yeah. It's company. the same that's done all the other municipal buildings in town. So this it, would basically be the same warranty everywhere. It should be, and I, I, yeah, I, I just don't know why they wrote either. that in. I don't either. I don't like that there. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to sign that one with that there. This and is not a weather tight warranty. My other yeah. question is. Um, Obviously, we have a large buffer contingency left over because it was so far under budget. But is there a way to wait on moving forward with the roof until at least we get foundations poured and framed so that way if we run into some big stumbling block that's going to eat up a lot of that, um, I guess, contingency money we have left over, we can wait a couple weeks to do that? Uh, they're going to TV that drain line. I guess we got one issue already. Because if, if we Clay find tile pipe in there, no? That they just bumped this into? One? Yeah, they're we think it's still to be it's determined. Old, old yeah, right now. yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. The question is, how time sensitive is this? Well, I approve. We have a couple of weeks, or yeah, because oh, yeah. Yeah. if we can yeah. move forward with the, you know, get as close to having to order that roof as possible, that way mm -hmm. we know that, yeah, we're feeling pretty good about contingencies and unexpected mm -hmm. things. Can you, Let me just can stop the committee it? verify this? A little write-in statement on this page. I will, I will ask the OPM. And we can bring it up next meeting. Yeah, we can bring it up next right. meeting, yeah. And does anybody have any, I mean... No, I have no problem right. I think everybody's in agreement on for to next go meeting. Well, was this an adult? No. no, it wasn't. This is a change this order. Is a change so you've got to pay for the change order. There was a, there's a cost to the change order when it's not an adult. Yes. That's right, it's so, a change order. So how much for the change order is that going to cost? I built it. I thought that was all in here. Two hundred and fifty-six thousand dollars. Yeah, that's the cost of the change eight, order. 41. That's the cost, but there's a cost to the change order. There's another cost figure. There's well, a five percent change order that's not an adult. Yeah, the yep. the five percent O H and P. I think that's what you're talking right. about. That's twelve thousand one oh nine, and then the one percent bond is two thousand five forty three. That's included. In that that's yeah. included. Yeah. Okay. All right, I just wanted to be sure, thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the metal would be fantastic. Yeah. That's the better bet. Of it's made, it's free, yeah. it looks better, so. Um, as long as it has a warranty to it. Yeah, yeah so a warranty right. I that. understand that. Yeah. We will take that right back to them. You're gonna take that to I will take Okay, that thank you, Jane. Take it to the cleaners, Jane. Okay. <laughs> um, two other things I had on there that came up today and that is gonna be an issue once the library gets under construction is parking for the existing Goodwin Memorial Library once uh, these, this construction project is fully underway. Mm -hmm. um, we, don't, we don't have a solution there right now. I know the Municipal Building Committee is ask working on a plan to... for a parking lot like we discussed over here. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, so that's mm -hmm. something that I think is gonna be brought to our attention in the next few weeks. I, I haven't talked to the Municipal Building Committee specifically, but I know they were supposed to talk about it last night, but not everybody was there, so they weren't able to talk about oh, it. I was just going to say, I thought they um, last night. Yeah, yeah so, so hopefully soon we'll be hearing about that. It, the mm -hmm. thing would be is, how are we going to pay for that, mm -hmm. those the alterations? The other issue is so. one vodka is now yeah. landlocked, so to speak. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, we need to wrap and him into that conversation. I've seen a for yeah. sale sign up on the next piece of property over next door. I can't buy it. Five hundred thousand dollars. <coughs> you got that contingency, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, one other thing I have is there are some unsuitable soils we have over there that are not loam and are soil that can't be used for fill or anything on site plan right now is to you know dispose of that soil mm -hmm. not take it to the DPW and I just want to make that transparent to everyone that there is soil there that we are going to haul off-site because it's not the Hadley loam it's 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 just not soil that's not suitable for construction or topsoil what about the loam though? Because the loam is going to be either used on site 
or go the excess, go to the DPW. The excess will be yeah. brought over to the town. DPW. Yeah, but but this unclassified right. soil, it's really okay, not worth are keeping. Obviously, have some loam and uh, Hopkins uh, baseball uh, leagues teams uh, use the young men's club field, and we've I've been approached, and I think you have too. Uh, about a couple of loads of the loam going over to the young men's club to fix the uh, baseball fields for the kids at Hopkins. Where you guys just say where you want it to go. I don't know who's trucking yeah. it. I don't know if the contractor's trucking it or the town's trucking it. That's, but yeah, it's the either. town's owns it. What? Well, yeah. yeah. Being used on yeah. Site. No, I use the contractor. Yeah. 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 We should probably have okay. a discussion about that before it happens. Yeah. Yeah. We could talk yeah. about that. At a later date. Well, no, sooner, sooner rather than they later. Need it sooner they're, rather than they're, later. they're using the fields now. And they, they need to fix them up. So I mean, we're okay. Yeah. I mean, it's only two loads. It's not half the pile. Chris, is that something that we could handle? Yeah, even 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 what we have at the garage. Okay. Oh, but I think that loam needs to stay on site until that the plan yes. I believe okay. was it's going to stay on site over there until they're done with okay. all the site so, work. Oh, we have some. So what you're talking about is just guess. taking two oh. loads from the highway garage. Oh, right from now. the current highway yeah, garage. They, okay. If Bring it over to the oh, young yeah, men's yeah. club for the kids sure, uh, on baseball that. and softball teams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make the motion. I will do that. Otherwise, I won't be able to do that. All right, I'll make a motion that we bring two loads of loam to the Hadley Young Men's Club for the baseball fields. Second. Yeah, I'll, those I'll, uh, I'll pull out the telephone pole so you can don't don't go around. You can go by the home base on the first ball field and just pile there and we'll take care of it. So we're just going to dump it. We're not going to spread it or no, anything. You're going to take care of the. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. To to lose. Thank you for clarifying that. Because <laughs> that's where I was getting worried. Okay. All. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, upstairs. Okay. Uh, anything else on the senior center, Jane? They're pouring foundations into this yeah. week. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you. All set. Okay. Yeah. Uh, library. Uh, library really no update until um, so we're out to bid and it'll be the end of May when the bid documents are due back mm -hmm. and so next big update from us will be uh, first week of June probably um, we are meeting uh, to go over some design uh, information and the like I think actually I think it's on the 15th so I won't be there I'll be here but that's when the next uh, meeting is okay okay and the fire so the fire station we have uh, put out to bid, uh, was advertised, uh, so the bid documents are out, and we're just waiting to have them see what comes in. Okay. We're on the move. And that's mid-June, right? Uh, mid-June. It's, co yeah. it's coming along because we've already put the bids out. Uh, within the next couple of weeks, we should get the bids and the openings. We should know by middle of June also. Busy, busy, busy. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have another meeting in June before that. Okay, that's I that. I actually have to bring something back for our meeting in that first, that June 12th meeting, I think it is. Uh, I'll have something for us to sign for the, for us, the fire station. Okay. And our last thing here on the agenda, I believe, is the adult use marijuana request for qualifications document. And this is the RFQ we reviewed last week and should be, or I don't know if it was last week, but a couple weeks ago, April 10th. and uh, it's ready to go out. You asked me to run it past the chief of police. He and I met, we reviewed it. Uh, he, had, he supports uh, the RFQ process because it will most likely, more than not, uh, result in a better quality vendor of uh, adult use marijuana. Uh, it would be been in the better <coughs> interest of the town would be served uh, with the RFQ process. So I'm bringing it back, uh, asking for permission to release it on Friday after the town meeting vote. Uh, we'll know how that uh, bylaw goes. And um, I had suggested a six week turnaround. I've gotten some feedback that that may be too long. So perhaps we would consider a four week turnaround yeah. I'd like to support it <coughs> I mean you we want adequate time for 
appropriate and thoughtful responses, but four weeks seems to be plenty of time. I think, yeah, three or four weeks, because if someone's doing this as a professional, they should basically have their packet Exactly. Ready so. Mm -hmm. right. so we'd send it out on the third, should we say one, two, three, four would be May 31st deadline? It would be a Friday, or do you want to make it a Monday, June 3rd deadline? Mm -hmm. Friday, Friday deadline? Yeah. Uh, Friday the 31st. 31st? Is it, that's not a holiday, right? No. Jennifer, no. would you be able to uh, be here for that? Is it Friday? Is it Friday? Friday after Memorial Day? Yes. Yes, yes yeah. I'll okay. be here. I'll All take right. care of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. four full weeks we're going with? Yeah. yeah, that would be... Not three, four? That'd be four weeks. Does that sound good? I thought you guys said four. Yeah, I, yeah, I just thought it should be shorter than yeah. six. But okay. I mean, I mean, the 24th is right before a holiday weekend, so yeah, right, I don't know. Four, four it is, then. Right, yeah. Yeah, do we need to make a motion to release this RFP? RFP. Second. RFP. Yeah, why well, don't what, you Second made it. with the uh, revised shortened deadline. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> uh, that, I, one thing we didn't touch on was the town administrator report. Certainly. Uh, we have a town meeting quickly. coming up tomorrow. No. Oh, is that tomorrow? Oh my <laughs> Wait. I got plans. David, thank you for your report. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's basically I have what a we suggestion. Think. What's that? When the sign gets put out and it says ATM, you think bank. You don't think town meeting, and I think it should be spelled out in the future. Yeah. yeah. Good suggestion. Thank We're you. We're going to take it to the bank. <laughs> My response to the people that called me was, we're taking all the ATMs out of the banks and we're only put them in municipal buildings. <laughs> okay. All right, so the updates, just touching on things that we haven't already talked about, the unidirectional flushing is underway. Uh, annual town meeting, we have uh, that coming up. Everybody is encouraged to show up and vote. Uh, IT upgrade, we uh, have now have a May 13th appointment with Acuity Technologies. Uh, and they're going to go over their preliminary results of their assessment of our IT system for Town Hall and DPW. This is a free program provided by the state and it's a prerequisite for applying for the next round of IT grants under the uh, co uh, Community Compact Program, so we're in good shape for that. Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Grant that's been submitted and uh, we're hopeful that we'll get planning money that will lead to capital money on that. Uh, we were, were contacted by the State Floodplain Manager of the Commonwealth to visit Hadley to help with compliance with the National Flood Insurance Program. This is the revision of the flood insurance maps that we've been talking about over the months. Uh, we were setting up a meeting in May or June, depending upon the people's uh, availability. We want building, planning, emergency management, myself, DPW, to be at this meeting. Uh, and this is a requirement for uh, keeping up to date on the National Flood Insurance Program. Uh, Bay Road Bridge uh, replacement. Uh, we had a uh, meeting with the Mass DOT. They expect this to be advertised for uh, bid in 2021, and the construction will take two years after that. Uh, we have a bid opening date for the municipal electricity aggregation project, and that bid opening is May 22nd. So that project is moving forward. Audit is substantially complete. Uh, the IT grant for the collector's program uh, is uh, going along. We're to, we ran into a couple of delays because of the quality of data supplied by one of the uh, software vendors. We've corrected that and now we should have that project up and going for May 2019. And then we have annual town meeting tomorrow, uh, May 18th, the strawberry and asparagus sub next door. June 1st would be the Asparagus Festival and these people need to come in front of the select board. Okay. I hope Thank we have some asparagus. Huh? <coughs> There's some out there. When some. you say they need to come in front of the select board because we have, that was a follow-up. Asparagus up, Festival. Follow-up 
follow up on on the festival? It's to follow up to make sure that they have received all mm -hmm. of their license yeah. and have okay. communicated with everybody else. Just making sure. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Gary's two dates. Do you want to announce them? Do you have them? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I Go for it. Pull them up. Um, it'll be May 24th, 9.30 to 11.30 at Hadley Town Hall, this room here, 203. What's that? Uh, Dan Carey. Dan Carey will be here. Oh, Alexander Carey will, Carey. Carey will yeah. be here. He will also be at uh, Hadley Council on Aging, May 31st, uh, from 1 to 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, that's at Most Holy Redeemer. Mm -hmm. Any other announcements? <coughs> do we need to say anything to the board about the groundbreaking ceremony, and they, do they need to do anything formal about that? Um, oh, yeah, we should announce that. Oh, yeah, I the groundbreaking I ceremony think. for the <laughs> senior center. Yeah, I believe that you folks nice. are inviting people. It's not the building committee. <coughs> I think it's the select board that does that. I think I think that's right from a protocol okay, standpoint. Yeah. So yeah. the building committee would like you to invite people for the fourth of June, which is a Tuesday at one o'clock. June fourth. June fourth, one o'clock. And um, I know that some of the people, like the big name dignitaries like Governor, need about a month's advance notice. Governor, Lieutenant Governor, and our reps. All of that. <coughs> State reps. To take my lunch time. Can do it on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. So it's Friday. June 4th June at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. That's a Tuesday. That is a Tuesday. Put your hard hats. I don't think I'm going to be here. I'll be here. Yeah. Here I here think I can be here. I'm here. I'll get time. I'll be here. And they're stopping construction that day. Good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. If that is it, uh, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. See you tomorrow night at town meeting. Yeah. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Six o'clock. You're low. Six o'clock here. here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Oh, the one uh, one last uh, thing. Oh wait 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry sorry. Okay. Take that back. Roll that back. Come. Do we have to reopen? Oh right 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 right. V one vodka. There Lay it on us. There was a. Something came up um, within our 48-hour window. I'm bringing it to you. Um, v1 Vodka made a mistake on their dates. They wanted to have an event on for uh, the Kentucky Derby. He wrote down May 11th. He wanted it on May 4th. Um, when it was brought to my attention that he had made the mistake, I reached out to him. He was here this morning when I was here. He filled out the application. He apologized. Um, I've had the police department and the fire department and the building inspector all approve it. I have explained to him that since he applied for the May 11th and the May 11th has been issued, that we will not be canceling that. That is a, still out there. Um, but he is looking to have an event on May 4th. There has been some concerns raised about the parking. I will say that I addressed them with Paul and Paul said that he was reaching out to the American Legion to make sure that the parking would be available at the American Legion, as he has said on the other four that he recently brought forth to y'all. And I was just looking to see what y'all said. Okay, so we have May 4th, an event at V1 Vodka. Mm -hmm. uh, can, can we have a motion for that? I'll make a motion to allow him to uh, adjust the date. Apply for a new license oh, for May 4th. For well, apply for or we're approving it. I, I, it it needs to be a new it. license. Not apply not and approve. Yeah. With with authorization for parking at the Legion. The Legion. Mm -hmm. um, I'll second that for just a quick discussion. Okay. Um, just a request. It's been a while since it was a few years back when we made the arrangements when Paul bought the building on how we were going to navigate you know, any possible conflicts and the like. And a lot has changed given the fact that the construction is there and there have been some ongoing communication problems. So maybe um, it would be helpful if we kind of reconvened, had representatives from the library and asked Paul to come in and just cover like how things are gonna be working, where parking's gonna happen when he has these events and the like. Could we do that? Yeah. Okay. 
in vitamin for maybe a knee, a first knee in June? Sure. Is that too long or does that sound good? Yeah, let's oh, just, let's I mean, just whatever the pleasure of when our next sure. meeting is after tonight, please. We didn't settle that either. Oh, tomorrow I thought night. it is the 15th. Tomorrow night. Going on tomorrow yeah. night, yes. <laughs> but I'm talking about a board meeting. <laughs> Oh, it's not the eighth. And Young the little oh, snapper over there. Sounds like there's two public hearings for May eighth. <laughs> yeah, I have the eighth and the fifteenth on. Yeah, I think we're if, doing if three in one month. What's that about? Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I think. It, what would why? Be, we're because down we down have town meeting. Yes, because yeah. we have town meeting in May, and basically, you know, we always have booked this Wednesday meeting sometimes we haven't had to meet but tonight we had a whole bunch of things to yeah. do and then we kind of roll into the normal hour than three hours yeah. once a week I really would I made that yeah. statement a couple times already you yeah. made a lot of statements I know and you ignore me usually <laughs> anyway so I, I've sent out I, I apologize if, if I've misunderstood something but I've sent out notifications to a butters for mm -hmm. Eversource yeah. and for an additional public hearing. I've, I've already mailed the letters out. I don't know, is it okay to, I don't know how I would well, change so that. The, the, we meet at the pleasure of the board, so if we have to meet on the 15th, okay. we, we're just going to mm -hmm. notify yeah. everybody that okay. the public hearing's been deferred. But I think we okay. should be more explicit. Because usually after town meeting, it's just twice a month and not three times a month, but whatever. Okay. And well, I think that every we other month we only have two. I think yeah, it was correct. just this one. It was month. this one. Trying yeah. to get caught up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we me. may have to put in more meetings too when we're starting the projects too. So we did mention that also yeah. already too. Yeah. So yeah. eight and fifteenth are confirmed. Eight and the fifteenth I have on my calendar right now. Okay. Okay. You love this place just yes. once a week. <laughs> we have so can't, much fun. Can't get enough. Can't get enough of it. Okay. It's the camaraderie, John. All right, so we're on, okay. we're on for the 8th? Yeah. We're on for the 8th. We're on for the 8th. Okay. Okay, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. That's, That's adjourn. a question. Again. <laughs> okay, all those in favor. Aye. Aye. Aye.